One of the most important relationships you'll ever have is with your kids. I have two small boys. I'll be the first to admit it is tough, as we all know, being a mom. I have a girl and I have a boy, and I second that. Right. Oh, my goodness. It is, I mean, and sometimes there's just nothing you can do. Yeah, it's, just a tough, it's a tough job. The thing is, when you become a parent, there's no guidebook, of course. So we were really interested when a viewer wrote to us about some help that she found. Rita Garnto and her husband adopted two toddlers, became parents instantly. And that's where Wendy Petrikoff, a facilitator for Love and Logic Parenting, came in. Ladies, thank you both for being here. Our You're welcome. Pleasure. We appreciate it. Uh, Rita, let's start with you. You had an instant family. You yeah. literally did. You adopted these kids, and then what happened? It was just a lot harder than you thought it would <laughs> well, be? Well, we got, we got the phone call, and um, we were actually expecting to adopt an, a newborn, and our a consultant called and said, well, I have a very unusual situation. Are you two sitting down? And, and my husband, Neil, and I are sitting across from one another with our eyes, you know, deer caught in the headlight. And they said, we have two little girls. And we're like, oh, can we think about this? And so the first person we called was, was Wendy. And 11 days later, we drove down to Florida and picked them up. Wow. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank All right. You. Well, Wendy, talk about what is love and logic? Love and logic is a parenting philosophy that lets you raise your kids without breaking a sweat. And it helps you raise kids who are responsible, accountable, and really, most importantly, fun to be around. <laughs> Well, that is huge. <laughs> but where do, no, but it, I think that's a really good point oh my, because yeah. there, I'm, there are days when, you know, the kids aren't always necessarily so fun to be around. Correct. I want a piece of that. I think all of us moms want a piece of that. Uh, how do you, it how sounds do you, like heaven. How do you get there? I mean, where do you start? Where do you start? Well, I always recommend the book. It's called Parenting with Love and Logic. It's by Jim Fay and Foster Klein, and they started this parenting philosophy about 30 years ago. So it's been around for quite a while. It actually started in the classroom. And the book is a great guide, but I also teach workshops, and they're four-week workshops, and we talk a lot about tools, and we talk about the script. That's the great thing about Love and Logic. It actually gives you a tool and it gives you the words to use when you find yourself in that moment. Because I always feel like I'm negotiating with my children. It's a constant negotiation, especially with my daughter. My son, he's pretty laid back. He's mm -hmm. eight. He's happy to just go upstairs and play with his toys. My daughter is right there with me and she wants something all the time and I'm having to explain to her all the time. <laughs> it's why, why, why? And you're like, oh, come on, just do what I say. Well, we have a lot of tools for those, <laughs> those types of well, things. Well, I want to talk about that so our viewers can get some of those practical sure. things. You say the script, the words to use. A lot of times we don't know what words to use, which is why we resort to yelling. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you give us a for instance or for example? Absolutely. Um, you're talking about your daughter, and it sounds to me like she's draining your energy. Yeah. Uh. Truly draining your energy. Yeah. And one of my favorite little love and logic tricks is called the energy drain. And what you do is you look at your child and, and you get dramatic. And it's fun to be dramatic. This should be fun for the parent. And you say, oh, honey, this is so sad. You are really draining my energy. And at that point, you either say, I've got to take a break, or you're welcome to clean the dishes while mom goes and rests so you can fill back my energy so I can take you to soccer practice later so I have enough energy to do that. And there are a lot of fun tricks like that. In well, what book. happens by doing that? Like, you mean if your kid's whining, like, I want this, and then you do the whole, you are draining mommy's energy. You are kind of over dramatic. What does that, what, I mean, my kids would look yeah. at me like, yes. Get what, together. Are you, exactly. what are you smoking, Ma? Exactly. What are you doing? Exactly. Let's leave the kids confused. Okay. Confuse them. Good. Let's confuse them. That'll fix everything. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't know what to do with it. And one of my other favorite techniques is avoiding an argument. And, you know, the kid will come at you, and they really want to engage with you. You can see it in their yeah. eyes. And I say, oh, honey, this is so sad. I love you too much to argue. That's a good And they line. don't know what to do with it. Honey, this know. is so sad. I love you too much to argue with you. Remember mm -hmm. that. I'm writing that down. And a That's love good. and logic parent always leads with empathy, and that protects our parent-child relationship. And when we say, how sad, or, oh, we're immediately connecting with our child in a, in a loving way. Mm -hmm. And then but we follow up and we say, I love you too much to argue. That's good. Well, Rita, how, has, how have these techniques helped you with your family? Well, one of the first things I took away from it was, you are more than welcome to eat what I've made for dinner. I'd be more than happy to make you a big bowl of oatmeal for breakfast. <laughs> so they now have a choice. They can either eat dinner 
or they cannot eat dinner and they're not going to get anything till breakfast. That's a big problem. The whole mealtime thing. Uh -huh. I could go on and on about that. But you don't give the, you give them a choice. You either eat what I make or you can wait till breakfast. Um, also, a big one is playing at the table. We don't play at the table. If you play at the table, the food goes away. You have a choice. Do you want to play at the table? Uh-oh. So sorry. Yeah, what I is so sad that you made that choice not to um, to play at the table. Now you don't get to eat dinner. Okay, what is this uh-oh technique? Oh, yeah. The uh-oh technique is, is I love fun. This. It's really kind of the love and logic version of time out or it kind of says to the kid, you're busted. The gig is up. The mom says, uh-oh. And when you say uh-oh, it kind of brings a smile to your face. So you're not losing your cool. Uh-oh, you know, looks like a little bedroom time. Or uh-oh. Oh, food's all gone. It's basically taking a break, removing the child from that situation, but in a happier way. You know, I think people like a naughty chair or whatever they might call it, the kid's still right in front of you. And, you know, when they start to wiggle off the chair, you're going to begin nagging immediately. Yeah. But if we put a little space between us and the child, we're a lot better off if we can't see them in our sight. So we've had some um, emotional issues with the older child, just, um, and so she loves to cry and why? whine and cry. So the choice is if you want to whine and cry, you go up to your room with the door closed, which no kid likes that. So she will throw herself on the floor and start a tantrum and go, uh-oh, and then I, pick, I take her by the arm, uh-oh, we're going to do some bedroom time. And now I'm not mad because I sound really silly, and I stomp your feet a little harder because she's not going to do it. She's not going to do what I tell her. And then we walk up to her room and close the door. And then she knows. She knows that this is your choice, that you whined and cried, and now you're going to be in your room. And the really neat thing about Love and Logic is, is, you know, Rita never lost her cool, and she never, ever gave her daughter the opportunity to get mad at Rita. The only thing she could get mad at was her poor decision. And that's really where we wow. teach responsibility and accountability, and that's where the learning takes place for the children. All right, love and logic. <laughs> I've seen, I've looked through the book, and I, it, the problem is sticking with it for me, but, but I will make a commitment to try to do so to end this screaming in my house. <laughs> Stop it. Thank you, Rita and Wendy. We appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you.